So I was a bit sad on the camera, the little pussycat sat in the window. I'll come back, the little pussycat sat in the window and Astrid, the tan and brown one, decided she's gonna correct her, go again. So with repetition, she learns she can't do that. Watch her, there you go. The cat's just sat around in its own business, in its own house. You cannot, absolutely cannot have dogs lunging at cats. Whether you like cats or not, they're somebody's pet. Correct, correct. So yeah, there you see, there's Zena nearly had to go, go again. Zena henpecked her then, yeah. Yeah. Now Zena's clocked it. She forgets where it is, Astrid. She's looking in the house before. Because you can imagine if that cat wasn't sat behind a window. Turn, come back. Then stop. Stop. Tell her to sit. 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 Pop on the lead. Good, uh, Zena. Good. Correct her. Walk her towards and correct. Correct, she's gonna lunge. Correct, both. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! What right? Oh my god. So she's going for Astrid as soon as Astrid growls. So she's taking it that she's growling at her because she's not right fussed about the cat. Bring Astrid back up. And you're going to bring Astrid to here, you're going to correct, you're going to step in front of her. It is not up for discussion, just do one at a time. So there, in that instance, you would pull up and away sharply. Yeah, you've got to pull away. Take a breath, you're all right. Astrid lost a bit of fur. So make sure you're in front and don't let her be pulling. Enough! Zena were being a dick then, so I corrected that. Zena's, no, no. um, if the camera didn't pick it up, Zena's targeting Astrid, and Astrid's not doing anything. So bring her back. You're going to stop, and then you're going to stand in front of Astrid as you correct Astrid, because she's going to start lunging at the cat. Walk her a step or two forward. Is this not tight on the cat? No, the cat's, she's all right. She's just looking. She's not impressed with them. We're not taking the dogs right up to the window. Walk her forward more. Look at her shaking. Back legs are shaking. Yeah. Now stop. Better. Turn towards the cat and go up. You're not taking the dog to the cat. Just turn and go up. Better. Come back down. It's all right, now, is she? Better, yep. Yeah. Oh, That's what this is what I'm here for to give you oh, confidence no, and to teach. Ah, uh, she don't bother if they're across the road just when they're going past. Well, look, I've got the time to get to them. This is well, why we she... need to come on the dog walk. Yeah, just put the group lessons on. Um, I was on the main street and I didn't have any choice. Yeah, if you can't give space, then obviously we don't. See, they're not even batting an eyelid to that. Just cats, is it, Astrid? That you think you're hard with? Yeah, it's mad, that, isn't it? Always have your dog as far away from the other dog. Keep going, you slowed down. Keep your boss walk on. Good. See? Be a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Be a boss and you act like a boss. I know, it sounds stupid, but I'm not actually... I'm not actually bothered about mine. I'm bothered about everybody else's. Yeah, well, generally as well with small dogs. To be fair, that I think it did pull out. I was just watching Astrid, but yeah. they do, the small dogs usually do pull out and. I'm doing that on deer walking like that. What I see people do now, Lisa's modelling my new lead, so they've got a handle in. But generally, what I see people do is they get the lead and they wrap it around the hand like that. Two things there. When you do that, you're pulling like mad on your dog's neck. That's going to damage your dog's neck. Second, if your dog pulls, it's going to crush your hand. You don't hold a dog like that. That's restraining a dog. That's not training a dog. A lot of people is when they're walking dogs, they've got constant pressure on the dog's neck. That's not walking a dog. That's restraining a dog. You don't control a dog 
with brute force, it's technique and training. So if you're using brute force and pulling like mad on the dog's lead to get them, keep them at your side, you're doing it all wrong. You need to go back to basics. You don't use brute force on a dog. So for the video, we're back where the cat was. So we're going to see what Astrid does. Or both of them. Good. So the cat was sat in that window. Good. Nothing. Did you feel better? Well, I didn't even know we'd walk past it. I thought yeah. it was that one. No. <laughs> Well, she did on the first, when I kept getting you coming past, she didn't know which one it was. The cat wasn't there anyway, but they didn't even look. 